Views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show. It's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I want to welcome you to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Yes, indeed. What a great show uh, we have planned for you today. But first, let me say hello to Mr. Benny and Mr. Brian. Hello, Mr. Benny. Good morning. And hello, Mr. Brian back there. Yep, yep. Remember when we used to be able to have that mic working? It still works, but you are rarely here. You no, should do I, your stuff I've on. Been away. Yeah, I know. So I know, uh, we back. haven't used Brian as much. Sorry, Brian. You, you should. There's pick nothing up. along with that. My girlfriend's back. Yeah, that's I, an oldie. I look for that's, that. that. But it's up my boyfriend's back. We'll have to change it up. You want to remix it? I'll remix it. I'll remix it. Hi, Brian. I can see you now. Good to see you, uh, Benny. Have you been watching Olympics? <laughs> I know. I asked. This you is a startup. Yeah, yesterday's question too. But well, uh, I just wanted to see if you get caught up. I actually was underneath the car again yesterday. Ooh. My girlfriend's mom had a big coolant issue, so I was literally up to my elbows in coolant. <laughs> a and... big coolant issue. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, it's the season. Cars are getting overheated. They are. You know, so she had all of her hoses ready to like pop. They look like little sausages under there. Is that right? Yeah. So I did to, you fix them? I swapped, I swapped them all out for. You're Mr. Mechanic, aren't Thank you? you. I've known you that. to be Mr. Mechanic. I sold the bike, all... too, by the way. Oh. I know. I wasn't going to tell you until now. Oh. I know. I had to. You know I, what? I had You'll, the bike for almost you 10 know years. What we'll have to get. I don't mm. know if you can even find this song. Mm, I don't probably. think you've ever heard of it, but it's so appropriate for this. Funeral of a f- <laughs> friend. Funeral for a friend by Elton John. Oh. It was on Yellow Brick Road. I think I have that. Funeral for a friend. I'll look for it. Okay. Because we have to play that song in dedication of your bike. Okay. Did you cry? Uh, no, actually, I was pretty happy because someone else who is, was in my shoes that when I first got my first bike, you know, yeah. he looked like he was just like me 10 years ago. He was really excited. So I'm like, great. It's going good, you know, to a good home. Oh, so you passed it on to a, yes. uh, someone mini, who, a yeah. mini me. Basically. A mini yeah. me. Someone Benny. who's really a mini me. wanting to learn how to ride and all that. It's a mini B. <laughs> mini B. A mini B. Right. Passed it on to a mm-hmm. mini B. Very cool. I love that. All right. So I, I have to admit, I'm addicted to the Olympics. Okay. I'm addicted. Okay. That's the end of the story. I'm addicted. Whatever it is, you know, whether it's a little diving, although I have to tell you, I just do not get the little swim trunks. Wait, for the men I or for the women? I do not get the men. I do not get them. I don't get the women either, but I don't get the little men swim trunks. We had a, I had a big Why? conversation with a friend of mine on the East Coast about this. I don't get it. I mean, what is with all the little designs around their private parts? Well, I they don't, don't really have much to work that. with anyway. I mean, so, what I is mean... that about all of a sudden? And, and, you know, it's not just one country. It's like all the countries. It's like China. Really? It's prime what real estate doing? down there. It's prime real estate. You got to use up of everything you got. When did we start with that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm telling you. <laughs> the Olympics have gone they're bringing sexy. So back. for us, where do the stars and stripes go? Is it like two stars and a stripe? They don't have stars and stripes. No. They got something really weird. I don't know. You, you know, missed, you missed that. I one. wasn't paying any attention to it. My friend pointed it out to me, and she said, "Do you have HD TV?" And I said, "Yeah, I have HD TV." She said, "What's going on with the you know China?" And I said, "Well, what are you talking about? Look at their little suits." And the girls had the same suits, and well, they had the same design in the same places. And I thought, okay. I'm really getting old. At least most of those suits are staying on rather than if you're watching the polo, water polo event, <laughs> it gets ripped off you and uh, other items start flying uh, all over. Nobody gets to see that. Uh, yeah, actually, it aired. I don't yeah, know if you heard that. Yeah. NBC, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they missed it. I love when they ask the Olympic girls about their, their, their outfits. Apparently, there are issues with outfits this year. So they asked the Olympic women who won the gold, how do you like your outfit? So, you know, it wasn't like they all said, oh, we like love our outfit. They like looking at each other, waiting for the first one to say, oh, they're good. Oh, I like my outfit, right? Yeah. What does that say? There's just more out there. It's available. Well, we had our, you know, opening ceremony issues, too, with our 
outfits, so to speak. Yeah. It was done by, what was it? So I was don't it know. Ralph I, Moran, and then it was taken back, and it was done overseas in China. And... I'm just saying, next time, watch where you put your little designs. Okay, folks? Stars and stripes. Stars and stripes Stars forever. And Let's pull a prosperity card, and then we're going to get into a fabulous show. In belief of God, that all things are possible. Hey, I found it. You found it. Good yeah. job, dude. Okay. All right. So today's card is, and we're going to be pulling these cards, and actually, uh, we're going to be giving decks away starting next week. I am creating my life anew. Boy, Mm. Michael Shane can talk about this today. It is not necessary for your conscious mind to believe the prosperity statements at first. Nonetheless, you are creating change. When you repeat these affirmations with feeling, your subconscious mind picks up new beliefs and creates new experiences for you. Hallelujah to that one, boy. I'm I'm creating my life anew. And I know there's a few Olympic men on the men's gymnastic team that are thinking that right now. <laughs> I cried last night. Aww. In belief of God that all things are possible. This is perfect. I wonder if Michael has been working with our Olympic team people. Uh, Reverend Michael Shane joining us here today. Spiritual visionary, teacher, healer. Boy, I'm telling you, we have got some a group of announcements for you guys today. It is an exciting day. It is great to see people that are doing incredible work to have their dreams come true. You know, why bother dreaming if we're not going to have them come true? But today's show is all about that. You know, we're talking with him about his experience with Dr. Wayne Dyer. And we have someone joining him here today. You know, born and raised in Hawaii. I, no, Hawaii. I have to say it Much right. Better. I have to say it right. Because you know what? I've been trained. I'm born and raised in Hawaii. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've been very trained. And, Sean, I have to talk to you about this. Shona Tucci is a former trial lawyer uh, who, through healing herself and healing the entire lawyer population, <laughs> uh, is that, like, true? I don't know, found her way in true calling, energy healer, spiritual teacher. They are both joining us here today. Her music, uh, uh, do we have any of your music? Did you send, bring us I, any? I gave you a CD. Oh, Benny. Okay. She pointed to you, so now you have it. Where <laughs> no, is it? I got this. CD. Oh, okay. All right. We're Bring it over get here. This music right. on here. Got to, you know. That's kind of important. I know. You see, you should have given it to the man. Straight from the angelic Straight room. from the man. I get can, to open can it. We it's like Christmas. It? Sure. Okay. Yes. I forgot to ask permission if we could play it. Yeah, can we open it now after I'm uh, halfway through? Royalties. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's good. She's good. <laughs> wow. And it's really cool. It's great to have you both joining us here today. And we'll talk more about you and who you are and what you do. But, um, you know, this is kind of an exciting time. And I love why you two have come together. Michael, welcome to the show, Shona. Thank you for joining us here today. Michael, give us a little snapshot on where you've been and where you are now in terms of what you're doing with the Ascension Foundation, with the video that's coming up, and with your relationship here with uh, Shana. I I mean, this is, I don't mean relationship. This is not, you know, the dating game. I mean, in developing love connections. Spiritual brothers and sisters. I mean, these are love connections. Anybody that can heal the lawyer thing, that's a good thing. Yay. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you. Well, it did not, um, st- you know, it just started like everything else. You know, you're, you're, you have an idea, you have no idea what you're doing, <laughs> and then the next thing, things just start falling into place. That is so well said. <laughs> it is so perfect. You're right. Yeah. And uh, you just you just keep moving forward and, and uh, you believe in the principles of what it is you are creating. And you share it with the rest of the world, and things seem to to fall in place. Not as easy as sometimes as we would like it to, but you know, it would be wouldn't be fun and exciting if it was too easy, you know. And so, uh, the concept that the masters have been teaching me for the last twenty three years is to working is working together. Okay, and most of the time in in the spiritual world. Uh, most of us mediums and psychics and clairvoyants really don't really work together. That is so true. And so, and and I lived in Sedona, Arizona for a year, and I can guarantee you there there was no working together. Yeah. But that's changing. It is changing enormously. Yeah. And and, and that's a very beautiful spiritual place to be. Mm. Well, here's Shauna over here, and I heard her play the bowls, these crystal bowls. And I literally could see the Archangel Raphael integrating into her body, mm. and the music was coming out, going into the into the room, 
just these energy pulses going into the room, integrating into people that were in the room, and their whole demeanor and their vibration and their, and their attitude just totally changed mm. into a po- in more of a positive, not that I had a room full of, of negative people. No. But, you know, the, the stress that they were feeling from their day was just starting to melt away. So it was a it was a beautiful thing. So practice what you preach. Work together. So that's what uh, Sean and I are doing. Sean, it's great to have you here. Welcome to the show. Thank you and aloha. Aloha. <laughs> aloha. Uh, I have a very dear friend. Uh, are, what, what island are you from, Maui? I'm from Oahu. Oahu. Very good. Yeah. We know secret places. Cavella Bay. Do you know what Cavella Bay is? Up by the Turtle Bay, Turtle uh, oh, yes, Resort. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That little Cavella yes. Bay in there where mm-hmm. you go get the Korean barbecue over there and then you walk across. <laughs> you get the fried bananas. Two scoops of rice and macaroni oh, salad. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, But don't forget the fried banana thing. Oh, yes. That is very good. Yeah. And then you hop across and you go to Cavella Bay, which nobody goes to. Right. So you have to be local to know this. Exactly. Yeah. All of my friends and uh, very, very dear best friend from Hawaii, lived there, grew up, the whole thing. Um It's a beautiful energy. I'm from New York. And when I walked off the plane, my first trip there, the the essence of the air itself changed me. How would you describe, you know, your history, your culture, and how it helped you shape the work that you do? And then tell our listeners what that work is. Well, there is really an aloha spirit in Hawaii, a um, feeling of family, a feeling of collaboration, feeling like everyone is part of your family. And it's really a sharing and giving vibration in Hawaii. And I feel like I'm the ambassador of Hawaii to the world, and especially in Seattle. So everything I do in my work is about spreading this aloha spirit, spreading this love vibration, healing and working together, and um, helping others to really find the love that is within themselves that so often we look for outside of ourselves. And so that really is my, um, what I feel my calling is. Mm. I, I can only imagine uh, what it's like, because I know what I went through to go uh, from a career that everybody <laughs> thought you should have. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, yeah. you, are, you went to school for what? Six years and paid a hundred thousand dollars for a degree that you're doing the doc the doctor pat what yeah what, what are you doing I totally... and by the way you're not even getting paid for that <laughs> exactly what? yeah did your family like oh gosh okay yeah. so I went to law school because you know I come from a very <laughs> traditional Japanese family I'm the oldest child and you're expected to be a success what we perceive as a success oh yes so it's either a doctor lawyer or Indian chief. And the the medical school thing didn't work out, so I went to law school because I didn't want to go to Indian chief school. Right. Um, but then, you know, it wasn't really in my heart. I mean, I was good at it. I was successful, what we deem as successful with the money and the status. But my heart wasn't in it. And when I left the law, I left the law because I got really, really ill. Mm-hmm. Um, my whole life fell apart. And then I found my way through my own healing um, my way into what I call my true calling, which is my spiritual work. And it took me a year to tell my parents what I did, that I sold my practice and left the law. Yeah. And uh, when I did tell them, finally (laughs) tell them, they really thought I was having a nervous breakdown and really wanted to commit me to the mental institution. And I said, no, I'm okay. (laughs) You know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. This is really what I meant to be doing. And you know, um, they are pretty much my biggest supporters today. They call me on the phone asking me to do sessions for them long distance. You know, I love it when we can turn that around. We're going to take a short break and we're going to talk talk more about where the journey has taken us to today. Uh, Because I'm like you. I went in the closet about what I was doing. (laughs) I'm telling you, like people were asking me, oh, are you doing a radio show? What is that? And I was like, oh, it's only this little show. And by the way, I was on like 14 hours a week. So I had to keep that a secret until I finally came out and said, you know what? That job that you thought I was going to be doing, not going to do it this way. Let's take a short break. Anyway, uh, this is music from Shauna, who's joining us here today. Uh, Reverend Michael joining us here today. We will be opening up the phone lines. You'll be able to get some readings. We've got lots of giveaways. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Transformation Talk Radio. 
a higher consciousness perspective. The hosts on Transformation Talk Radio offer a positive and new paradigm shift, a new vision for a collective future. They are empowering and helping all of us experience a powerful wave of personal shifts and cultural change as we break through to even greater levels of awareness. Take down our toll-free number, 1-800-930-2819. Call in, connect, make sure you tap into some of the world's most empowering psychics, healers, and more. Get an on-air reading with the best. Tune in, TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hey, everybody, we'll see you there. Connect with your personal guardian angels, guides, and departed loved ones at Angels and the Afterlife, an enlightening day of answers with Doreen Virtue and John Holland on September 22nd in Seattle, Washington. Audience readings will be given throughout the day, so reserve your seat today by calling 800-654-5126. Discover how guardian angels support, heal, and guide to enact positive life changes. Tune in and increase your innate intuitive abilities to receive signs and signals from the other side. Seats are limited for the Angels and the Afterlife event, so call 800-654-5126 to reserve your seat today or online visit hayhouse.com. Grateful patients have been saying it for 25 years. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. Dr. Thane of Wellness One of Bellevue has been named one of the nation's top chiropractors by the Consumers Research Council of America, and for good reason. He has helped his patients recover their energy and vitality after car accidents, sports injuries, herniated discs, fatigue due to stress, the list goes on. The website is bellevue.wellness1.net. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. That's bellevue.wellness1.net. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of The Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Let me help you take your empowering message to a community of people looking for products and services that value all life on earth and tap into the one true freedom we have, the freedom to choose. Let our listeners choose you. Join the buzz and be the buzz. Sponsor the Dr. Pat Show. Call me at 206-523-5522. That's 206-523-5522. Transformation Talk Radio. That is so beautiful. Thank you, Benny. Good job. Wow. Um, this is music for those of you listening, and we're going to play more of it. A return to your heart. Uh, Shauna is joining us here today, a special guest with Michael Shane, and it's great to have you both here. Um, bef- tell us a little bit about the CD before we continue uh, and let folks know how they can get their copy. Well, the CD came about as a uh, way to um, help my private clients. You know, they often said, I wish I could take you home with me to help me meditate or to help me ground. So I went home to Hawaii and a good friend of mine uh, put me in touch with a producer and we did this CD in three days. It's nine tracks. Four of them are just pure crystal bowls and um, five of them are crystal bowls with guided meditation. And a lot of people who have anxiety or insomnia or stress, they can't get past track two. <laughs> so it's really helped a lot of people in um, in, in sleeping and relaxation. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we did a show the other day with uh, Dr. Stephen Thane, and we were talking about how stress is now known to cause nerve damage and, you know, why this is so important for all of us mm-hmm. uh, to really get to the place of grounding and 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 just peace and calm 
So thank you for letting us play. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Michael Shane is joining us here today. And as I said before, you know, Michael's work is profound and being recognized by people at the top of the human professional, uh, human uh, development profession, as well as the spiritual world. And uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer um, has recently uh, been able to work with Michael, and you're going to hear about that today, uh, as well as how uh, Shauna and Michael are coming together. I want to mention to folks, though, that he has a number of different events coming up. Um, August 4th, uh, you're going to be able to, and we'll talk about this, this is a seance event, uh, August 4th, 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, there's also a Sunday healing service, 11 a.m., the second Sunday of every month. And we'll talk more about that. And then on the 18th, there is an apportation event. And if you don't know what apportation is, you're going to find out in a minute. But, Michael, you wanted to say a few words about Shauna's event. And then we'll talk about the masters and open up the phone lines. When I was first introduced to Shauna, you know, you have this this little person and she's, you know, kind of, kind of quiet at first. And then you find out she's really not that quiet. And she's a lawyer. And, yeah. <laughs> and a successful I, lawyer. She well, there's nothing left in her life but to be successful, and you, and you can see that just by being in her presence. But the one thing that I that I see in people the most is the, is is energy. Ah. Okay, and her energy was flowing like a lotus flower, just out there floating around, happy energies, you know. And uh, I guess the the the. The next best thing next to being, um, you know, uh, out there with, with your, your your mind and your energy is just going sporadic. But the sporadic energy that's that's within her that I see is is healing. And so I thought, man, she'd be a perfect person to, to, to connect with, to be part of the master's army, you know, to go out there to to give love, light and healing to people and a higher understanding of why it is they're feeling the way that they are. And if you just spend one minute listening to her her bowls, you kind of get a, a clue. But her bowls are not the only thing that she does. She's multifaceted. She does fingerprint analysis. Now, I don't know much about that, um, but I've been doing a little research, and it's just an absolute amazing experience because you're she's reading something that's connected to your body physically part of your dna and it it tells you a whole a whole message a whole story of who you are it's kind of similar to reading the palms but more intense and more involved and uh Answers that that have escaped us come to fruition. It's fascinating. You know, it's just amazing. And then the people. She'll come into in, into the event, and I'm getting ready to do my thing, and she's doing her thing, and she gets done doing her thing, and people are like, "Is that it? You know, they want more." You know? <laughs> right, right. And it, it's 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 just amazing uh, to to be in that vibration. Uh, because we really do, as a, as a society, as human beings on this planet, need to learn to work together, be together, and love one another. And, and that is what we are uh, putting out there in the world. And we're not alone. I mean, there's many people out there doing the same thing. Well, you know, it's been really interesting, Shauna, to watch uh, Michael's journey and the Ascension Foundation. And really, in such a really short period of time, relatively speaking, um, you know, see his dream and the dream of all the people that have put so much time and energy into this work uh, come to fruition, Michael. I mean, you know, it's got to be an incredible place. So you think, Shauna, it's amazing to see this? It's an amazing place. And I really, uh, my heart just connects with Michael. And I totally believe in his special gift and this um, energy that he's putting out to the When's world. When's the first time you saw him uh, bring forth something? The, oh, our our it, app- apportation. Uh, yeah, it was an apportation event at the uh, Ascension Foundation in Tacoma. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, I didn't really believe it bef- when I, I first know. when I first you know was told about I know it. We didn't either, and then we had an incident in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. 
but it's totally authentic, and um, I, I was a believer ever since. Well, let's talk about Wayne Dyer, because, you know, this is, uh, we, last time you were on, Michael, we were talking about your work, um, how you channel the messages of, you know, the Masters, St. Germain, and Jesus, in my case, and others, and, and you know, what that's been like for a real struggle for you, people wanting to challenge what you do. They want you to prove themselves. But you had a very interesting uh, there are no mistakes when it comes to spirit. So spirit somehow hooked you up with Wayne Dyer. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. That is an amazing there story. There are a million people on the face of this planet that are in the in the healing business that would love to have a connection with Wayne Dyer. But somehow, Michael, yes. the Masters orchestrated that for you. They did. And I didn't realize it at first. And even Wayne Dyer himself has said he, he was just blown away at how it happened. And St. Germain basically was the one that instigated this. And Wayne Dyer's uh, new book, Wishes Fulfilled, uh, is uh, partly uh, the hel- who helped him was, was Wayne Dyer. So he, uh, uh, from what I can see, is also a, a, a clairvoyant as well. Anyway, <laughs> we sent this lady over to, uh, to Hawaii, and uh, she went over there basically on her own dime, with a with a with a untouched proof uh silver dollar to give to him so she goes over there and where he lives you know he he doesn't let people come up the the guards they don't let people come up to his house or no. to his apartment right that's right and and he never answers his cell phone so not only does he answer his cell phone he lets her come up to his house and he answers the door in a robe and short pants and she gives him this coin and a message and stuff like that. And he's been blown away ever since because he just doesn't do that. Right. Well, I connected with him um, in August of last year when I went to Maui. And he came to see me three times. And then he came, he came to a uh, apporting event. And it was there was a significance to the coin that he received at that point. It was a 1941 uh, 50-cent piece, I believe it was, or a dollar, I don't remember. And it was the numbers that he used in his in his hotel rooms for his little hotel room safe. Yes. Now he's changed it because yes. you know, now it's out there. Yes. So now he's changed the numbers. But those were the numbers that he used. And there was some um, some significance to him about that. And by the way, uh, I'd like all those out there that are listening to just – you know, sometime during the day when they have a moment to focus, to direct healing um, energies to uh, Mr. Dyer's uh, mother mm. who has been ill. Mm. So oh, thank you been, for that. Been yes. doing that uh, mm. myself. Um, so he saw these events. Uh, he experienced the crystal light energy healing, and people were assuming since he was seeing me that I was the reason why. He, his cancer was healed, and uh, I, I will, I'll say I had nothing to do with it. It already had been mm-hmm. healed by then. He just wanted to check out, see who I was. Yeah, you know, and um, and then as he was leaving, the first time he came to see me, he says, "He goes, if you were a woman, I'd give you a kiss." In other words, he liked the experience. Yeah, and and then he says to Sam and me, the the guy that was with me, yeah, um, you know, you guys. You're weird. <laughs> so yeah, Wayne, ah, Doctor Dyer, yeah, we get it. So then, what a compliment! Yes, that it was is the highest compliment you could get coming from somebody like Doctor Wayne Dyer. Yeah, and and I'm like nervous. Okay. Oh, I, I, yeah. Well, there's nothing to be nervous about. The guy is bigger than life, but he's he's just a beautiful man. Yeah, he is. You know, and. I went back again this last fe- February, and he was coming back from a from one of his road tours. Mm-hmm. Uh, he came to an event that that we held at the Joe yeah. Sugar yeah, one of your events. There. Yeah, yeah. And he brought his um, himself there, and uh, we apported a whole bunch, like a hundred. And- Tell everybody what apport means for those people that haven't heard you on my show. Or haven't heard Benny and I, but Benny Brian and I talk about you know the apportation that happened right here. Uh, just give people an idea of what that means, real quick. An apport is an object from a gemstone to a watch to even a silver spoon 
that's transported through space and time mm-hmm. interdimensionally by using the heart chakra and silver energy mm-hmm. to bring forth objects from one dimension to another. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's take a short break because I want to get this whole story in there so people understand how absolutely amazing this is. Uh, When we come back, Michael will share his experience with Dr. Wayne Dyer. We would also like to give away for the first caller that would like a reading with Michael. We'd love to give away a session. A full session with you. One hour. One um, hour. Reading. One hour reading. So one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine toll free. We've opened up the phone lines. First caller, Brian. I think uh, right there, he's got it. Uh, we'll receive the session, and we will try to get as many readings as we can on air. Uh, Michael Shane will bring in messages from the masters and much more. And when we come back, we'll talk about the Wayne Dyer experience. And we have a very special surprise for you, how you can become absolutely involved in it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Licensed psychotherapist Kathy DeBono now offers her services through private sessions over secure online video chat or voice-only phone calls if you prefer. You can even choose to use instant messenger or email exchange. Go to kathyisin.com to learn more about licensed psychotherapist Kathy DeBono and how she and her unique brand of intuitive counseling can help you achieve the change you want to see in your life. kathyisin.com The hit radio show Authenticity Rising with Christine and Sabrina is energizing people everywhere to rise to the occasion of their lives. Do you feel overwhelmed by all the information out there that's designed to improve your life? Do you feel that you're destined to become more? Are you sometimes afraid to fully express who you are? Let Authenticity Rising with Christine and Sabrina help you to step into true empowerment, leading you to greater joy, ease, and abundance. Co-host Christine Upchurch and Sabrina Fritz invite you to join them every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio and rise to the occasion of your life. The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community. The Ascended Masters invite you to join them in co-creating this mission. Allow the Masters to lead the way in activating the wisdom of your heart consciousness and raising your vibration. You can communicate with them directly by attending apportation events and classes in mediumship, crystal light energy healing, alchemy, master studies, past life regression, and more. For a schedule of classes, workshops, and special events, visit theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. Call the Oprah of radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T-H-E-D-R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Transformation, transformation, transformation talk radio. Transformation, transformation, transformation talk radio. Transformation talk radio.com. Transforming the
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. Uh, so for those of you out there that want to receive an on-air live message from the Masters, we uh, have that opportunity here with Michael. Uh, we'll maybe be able to take maybe one or two callers. If you have a question, if you want some guidance or you want to find out what the Masters are saying regarding your situation, probably could take one or two people here. 1-800-930-2819 is our toll-free call-in number. So please feel free to do that. Brian will get you in the queue. 1-800-930-2819. Michael's website is up. His brand new website's great. Good job. Uh, MichaelShane.com, M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane, S-H-A-N-E.com, right? Yes, it is. Uh, And you're going to be able to find lots of information, but more importantly, you're going to be able to find exactly what we're going to talk about right now. So I love the story with Wayne Dyer. I love... um, I want you to finish this because, Shauna, isn't this, this is amazing? There are no mistakes in the universe. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. And this is uh, right now, uh, you know, we're going to announce something very special that you all will be able to watch regarding uh, Michael and, and Dr. Dyer. Okay, so he shows up at your event. It was a beautiful Were you surprised? Um, Were you like, uh-oh, there, there he is. Well, I had talked to him and invited him to come. I know, but you'd still be surprised that he actually showed up. Shauna, right? (laughs) Exactly. Come on. Well, I I, I wasn't sure that he was going to show up. That's what I'm saying. You know? And he did. He's Dr. Dyer. Wow, he's here. And you should have seen the look on some of the other people that were there. But the beautiful thing of it is that it was so perfect because the environment that we were in, this this estate we were at, we we were doing a Babaji meditation, a black flame meditation out right by the water. And off in the distance, about a quarter of a mile, were these big whales jumping all over the place. We got all this on film, so it's on. It's going to be on the. It's on YouTube right now. Yeah. And it, it was a beautiful place. So then he shows up. So it's absolutely perfect. Um, and it was it was a beautiful experience. As he was leaving, I wanted. I asked him if we could get together and talk. And we went to a place that I don't usually or would frank, frequent, and that's a a vegetarian restaurant and <laughs> and we talked and he and he uh offered to do a video with me wow while i was there so we set that up he, he and i was so nervous i know i'm in i could see him in the video i'm in the shower and you can see this in the in the video it's in the video that he looks like you just came out of the shower. I did. And and I come out of the shower, and I'm getting all dressed. And Bobby, my spirit guide, tells me, you forgot something. I go, what? He says, do you remember when you were washing your hair? And I go, yeah. He says, you didn't use soap. I just was washing my hair, and there was nothing in it but water. And so, my, so I had to slick my hair back. I know. I saw that. It's in the video. And then Mr. Dyer shows up. We let him in. I'm in the middle of eating a piece of pineapple. <laughs> I go to hug him, I, I back away from him, and I went to say something, and I spit a chunk of, of <laughs> pineapple on his shirt. He just stood there. He didn't lose a beat. What did you say to him? I, I, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. He says, oh, don't, don't worry about it. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> and, it's like, hey, I just want to share. Yeah. <laughs> no, aloha. Exactly. That's the aloha way. <laughs> but that was like classic, but I was so embarrassed. And, oh, my gosh. I you know. know. And then we sat down and yep. we started talking. And my normal process is I go inside my cabinet because they're creating a vortex. Yeah. And the str- and the stronger without distraction. Right. Yeah. The stronger that vortex goes, the more objects can come through. The longer the vortex stays open. Right. Right. Well, I'm standing there. We're we're like talking for 45 minutes, just talking, and and he's asking questions, and I'm explaining things, and this is stuff that. The some of the stuff was is on the video, and Saint Germain whispers in my ear, says, uh, "You're gonna, we're gonna have you apport right now." So I apport two or three gemstones. Yeah, you could see this in the video. And right there, right in front of him, I wasn't hiding behind a curtain, spontaneously. And he mm-hmm. talks about that in the video. Mm-hmm. And then Saint Germain says, "Have him put his hand out." So. I had him put his hand out, and I apported a uh, 15 to 16 carat ametrine gemstone into his hand. And when you watch the video, look at his jaw. It's like his jaw drops to the floor. and But he's really focused 
on this, and he he made a comment about you know, in the vibration of God, all mm. things are possible. Right. That is absolutely. And the 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 intelligence with spiritual energy coming out of this man. I mean, you just have to experience, you Mm. you know, uh, he's coming to town here pretty soon. I mean, I would recommend November Mm -hmm. have to go see him. Well, why don't we get you all in the studio at the same time, Michael? Why don't we invite him to the studio and do a show before the event? I'm with all all you guys here. I'm all for it. Okay, good. Uh, But the video is very clear. I mean, this is the first time, uh, isn't it, that he's seen this, correct? Or has he seen it before? He was uh, actually, he would have seen it before me because the lady that was doing it lives in in, in Maui Uh and and sent him a copy and me a copy and then had him approve it. Right. But this is the first time you've been in front of uh, Dr. Dyer uh, bringing forth gemstones from the master's. Directly that, for that him. That would have been a third time, but directly uh-huh. for him, that yeah, was directly just for the him. first time. Yeah. I, I mean, the video is great. I mean, for those, those of you that want to see this, this is a video that, um, you know, we've been waiting to release to, you know, uh, just make sure that it is a good quality for everyone out there so you could get a sense of this. Um, you can go to Michael's website, uh, michaelshane.com, and you'll be able to see the video also in the Dr. Pat newsletter. For those of you that are on there, we're going to be putting it out there. We're going to be putting it on Transformation and talk radio as well. Facebook, too. Facebook, everywhere. Um, Dr. Dyer doesn't do this that often, Michael. Shauna, I want to ask your opinion about it. Uh, What do you make of all this? I think it's wonderful. I think it's a great opportunity. I think, um, as you said, it was orchestrated by the masters, by the universe, and uh, we're just blessed that we have this video. Mm. I have been humbled by it. Yeah, exactly. Because I know he's got to have hundreds of people a day, maybe, wanting him to do stuff for him. Yeah. And I actually wasn't asking him to do anything for me. I just wanted some advice. Mm. And this is what came out of that. And I I mean, I feel so blessed and humbled by it. And uh, I, I mean, I really have no words to say how mm. appreciative I am. I think it's beautiful. We have someone waiting to connect with you and connect with the masters. Uh, well, let's bring her on. Why don't we do that? Okay, let's do that. All right. Barbara from Edmonds. Hi, Barbara. Welcome to the show. Hi. How are you? Um, <laughs> kind of sitting on pins and needles. Which Ouch. is kind of funny. I'm foolish, but, um, Ouch. I'm, I'm having a couple of surgeries within the next eight weeks. Reconstruction surgery after breast cancer. I'm the sole breadwinner in my family with my own business, and I'm so scared about whether I'm going to make it through the winter. Mm-hmm. My uh, master teacher, who is Master Jesus, says remove the fear, that there really is nothing to fear and nothing to worry about because you have a purpose in this world that you still need to uh, accomplish. So. In order to do that, you have to be here. So I would say, and then the feelings that I'm getting internally, is you're going to be here to fulfill it. Believe in okay. yourself. Mm-hmm. Believe in yourself. Remove mm-hmm. the fear. Mm-hmm. And just keep living your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's uh, You have a beautiful vibration. I can feel it through the phone. And you're protected. You deserve to be. And this world is brighter because you are here. As we all find in our lives, we come into a trial Mm -hmm. that we have to face, but it is our strength and our own people in our life that love us that keeps us going. Mm -hmm. And and that is something that that you should intensify there and and be thankful for what you do have, and it will intensify. I want to ask you a question, Barbara. May I do that? Yes. Um. What is the evidence that is showing up in your life to support the fear? Um, <laughs> I guess the fact I, I won't be able to work for several weeks. Mm-hmm. And I have to literally find people who can do what I do mm-hmm. to refer people to. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm only recently just starting to, to come up with some names. I haven't been able to contact them yet. Okay. But, um, okay. Uh, in, in referring, I'm, you know, I'm literally giving them my business because I won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do it for four weeks. Um, well, my, my uh, plastic surgeon would like to tell me six to eight weeks. Yeah, but um, I mean, in my heart, yeah. I say four weeks. Yeah, I, I'm because with I'm you. a fighter. Yeah, no, I'm with you on the four weeks. The, the four, four is good number. Yeah, four is good. I like the four. And someone will be directed to her that, yeah. will, that yeah. will. So you know, what, you're in a place now where you're you've put your plan together, Barbara, and you have a plan for healing. So you're not putting a plan for illness together. You see what I'm saying? Yes. See, it's a different vibration. Yes. Right. So you're putting a healing plan together that is about abundance and prosperity. So what I asked you was, I asked you if there's evidence to support your fear. And I'm not quite hearing that. It sounds like, right, Shauna? Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead. Well, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. There is, I don't think she has evidence in her right. life that is supporting the fear she's assuming or she's creating right. this fear within her. Yeah, you're going to be here for yeah. the winter. Yeah. So get your boots out. Yeah. Get your snow shovel out. <laughs> you know, even Earmuffs. where I'm telling you, you may think you live in a place where it doesn't snow. Well, that is not the case anymore. So what I'm trying to say, <laughs> yeah, what I'm trying to say to you, Barbara, is, you know, this is a temporary uh, timeout for you to get some deep healing done. Um, the people that you're going to call, they're going to take care of your business. They're going to do things for you. You know what? God is smart. Do you that's, know that? That's big. Yeah. Yep. Okay. God is smart. We don't really get things that contribute to our failure. But I will tell you that breeding, you know, fear into the cells of your body is probably the most damaging thing you could do. It is a fear is a cancer all by itself. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Okay. So you, you get an opportunity to, to flip and move from fear to faith, fear to faith. You got the masters, you know, this is what you, this is it. And faith in herself, faith in herself. Right. Faith in the fact that you can heal, right, Michael? That is correct. Mm-hmm. So are you ready to do that? Are you ready to do that, Barbara? Yes. Are you ready to let go of the fear and step into faith? I am. I need to. And we will affirm that. We will affirm that with you. So uh, here's what I want you to do. We haven't done this very long on this show in a really long time. We have not done this on this show, but we're bringing some old school stuff back. So there is an affirmation that all of us are going to shout three times. You ready? Yes. I am a powerful healer and I am already healed. Got that, Barbara? On the count of three. On the count of three, all of us are going to do it. You ready? Ready. Yes. All right. She's waiting for the three. Go ahead, Benny. You do the countdown. All right. One. Are you still with me, Barbara? (laughs) Barbara? Yeah. Sure, I don't want to lose you on this. Two! Am I still with you? Yeah. All right, three, make it happen! I, I am, am a powerful, powerful healer. healer. Do it again, and Barbara! I am already I healed. healed. Come on, get in! I am a powerful, powerful healer. healer. Get it together. Come on, I am already, already healed. Already healed. One more time. I, I am, am a powerful healer. healer. Then and I'm already, already healed. healed. All right, Barbara, now you do it yourself. I want to hear the big voice. I am a powerful healer, and I am already healed. Right on, sister. That is your mantra. Amen. Seventy times a day for seventy days, right, Jonna? Exactly. You, do you? Can you feel me on this, Barbara? Yes. Are you going to step up and do it? Yes, I am. All right. You are in great hands. You are well on your way. You have to trust that your business is not only thriving and abundant when you're doing it, but that you turn this over to spirit and you say, I need you to take the wheel. I need you to take the wheel. I am taking the wheel over here. You take this wheel. And by the way, in my absence, go out there and grow my business for me. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Thank you, Barbara. God bless. Thank you so much. 
I love that. That was beautiful. It's, it is beautiful. That was, that was Don't great. you think? I mean, let's talk about this idea of faith and, you know, especially in the context of what you're developing. I mean, you have a number of events, in, you know, coming up here. Um, Sharna, from your point of view, how do you describe the journey that he's on? He has been given a beautiful gift. It's been a challenging journey for him. I know that for sure, personally and professionally. Um but I see it as him stepping up to the plate and, and really living his dream, uh, living the life he was meant to be. We are all meant to shine our light. N- no one gets a pass on this. You're meant to shine your light. Who are you not to shine your light? <laughs> Who gave you that pass not to shine your light? And this is exactly what Michael is doing. Um, we all need to dream big because it's less crowded up there. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm really very is. proud of I'm very honored and very proud of Michael and very honored to be working with him. I know. I didn't even think it was possible to get out of the Bronx. I mean, I, I did, you know, I, I mean, it's none of my family. We were all lived in the Bronx. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Was there really another place? I mean, Manhattan was like, OK, let's go to Manhattan for a day. You know, that was and, and and let me not put this down. New York City and the five boroughs in New York are beautiful. I mean, believe it or not, all the stuff you hear about New York, um, they have some of the most beautiful landscapes and sites and so forth and so on. Um, But what you're saying is it is time for all of us to shine. And, Michael, that's what you're encouraging people to do with your workshops and classes, aren't you? Yes, and to help self-empower themselves so they can do this work on their own. Well, let's, you know, tell us a little bit about some uh, what some of the upcoming events are going to be like. Tell us about uh, what people can expect on August 4th and on the 18th and on some of these events. Well, what I would like to do is, is kind of give a uh, an idea on this event that we're doing on Friday or on Saturday. I'm sorry. Yes. August 4th. St. Germain, who has been orchestrating my uh, involvement with uh, Mr. Dyer the experiences I've had with him, uh, and also orchestrating me opening up a temple uh, and so forth. He is going to materialize in a seance setting and put his hand in some paraffin wax. Okay? And hold it there until it starts to harden. And then he's going to move his hand. And then seven people prior to uh, the beginning of the bit of the event that were that won the drawing will get to come up and shake his hand so they can feel that it's not my hand. Yeah. And uh, have that opportunity. Now, what's the importance of a spirit or anybody giving you a handprint? Yeah. Uh, you would think initially is to help give proof. Yeah, right. but, but that's not that's Which not you know it. a little bit about. Yes. Yeah. But what it is is the energy that's manifesting from this object that he's creating, his handprint, leaving a bit of himself when he leaves the physical world back in the physical world behind when he goes. You see? So his energy is there. It's for healing. And the people that are in the room will all receive an opportunity to be part of that. Now, we have a, a an event coming up where my master teacher, Master Jesus, I call him Master J, is going to uh, apport or materialize wine into the cabinet. Mm-hmm. And everybody in the room is going to have an opportunity to... to um, have a drink of it, and those wine drinkers that are that are there will know that that isn't going to taste like anything they've ever tasted. Well, that's before. interesting, isn't it? But inside of that energy and the molecules of of the wine, there's going to be energy for motivation, motivating to pull out of the closet the things that you were meant to do, and then do it, and also the power of forgiveness mm. to forgive. Mm-hmm. create an act of kindness, especially to those that you've been cranky with. <laughs> <laughs> we have a term for that, crusty. <laughs> if you've been, you know, just showing up like that, get over it. Right. Right. So uh, it, 
th- these two events are are the ones I, I I'm focusing on. They can c- go to the website um, michaelshane.com, and I have a whole bunch of events. Uh, we're doing a an event uh, where Master Jesus will come into my body and do a healing on individuals on the table. And healing goes from physical all the way down to spiritual, right? Emotional, etc. And the proceeds for this, and it's five dollars a person. Uh, is to be given to the the children that are in need by us buying coats and toys and so forth for them for the winter time, and then with the proceeds that are left over, we're going to have a little Christmas dinner for the kids and their families. Oh, that's wonderful. It's really wonderful. I mean, this is a way to pay things forward and 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 to really show up as love. And so thank you for doing that. Thank you both for joining us here today. Uh, It's been great to have you on the show. Shauna, thank you. You want to give us a personal message for today? Just love and uh, aloha and mahalo for having me on your show. Uh, Mahalo. Michael, thank you. All you need is love thyself. That's exactly right. Thank you both for joining me here today. Go to michaelshane.com, everyone. And if you uh, have any trouble with that, go to the drpacho.com, and we're going to have plenty of links on there. Stay tuned. Sue Storm, the angel lady, is in the house. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Don't touch that dial. We'll be beginning a brand new show at the top of the hour with one of our amazing hosts. Transformation Talk Radio. Talk radio to change the world. Connect with your personal guardian angels, guides, and departed loved ones at Angels and the Afterlife, an enlightening day of answers with Doreen Virtue and John Holland on September 22nd in Seattle, Washington. Audience readings will be given throughout the day, so reserve your seat today by calling 800-654-5126. Discover how guardian angels support, heal, and guide to enact positive life changes. Tune in and increase your innate intuitive abilities to receive signs and signals from the other side. Seats are limited for the Angels and the Afterlife event, so call 800 654 5126 to reserve your seat today or online visit hayhouse.com grateful patients have been saying it for 25 years when in pain see dr thane dr thane of wellness one of bellevue has been named one of the nation's top chiropractors by the consumers research council of america and for good reason he has helped his patients recover their energy and vitality after car accidents sports injuries herniated discs fatigue due to stress the list goes on The website is bellevue.wellness1.net. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. That's bellevue.wellness1.net. I'm Dr. Pat Vasily, the host of The Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Let me help you take your empowering message to a community of people looking for products and services that value all life on earth and tap into the one true freedom we have, the freedom to choose. Let our listeners choose you. Join the buzz and be the buzz. Sponsor the Dr. Pat Show. Call me at 206-523-5522. That's 206-523-5522. 